What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Vampire Lord got some changes. Let's go over them. All right, so the changes are live. I've already made a few videos on Vampire Lord class. Uh, it definitely is worth the farm, but uh, I wouldn't buy it uh, for ACs. So that's my thoughts on whether or not you should get it. And it's available in the event right now if you want to get it. But they changed it slightly. So it now hits three targets on the auto attack instead of two. Well, actually on all skills. Except for, well, the last one only buffs, so it doesn't hit. But yeah, so you're hitting three targets now where you were hitting two before. But you did have a skill. This skill before hit three targets. It still hits three targets, of course. Uh, but they did change a few things about the class, which are some good, some bad. Uh, it's an overall change. I wouldn't call it a... Well, it is a buff in the most general sense of the word. Because it does... In it will increase your overall uh, damage per second. And, like, your, your overall viability of the class. Uh, you can use it now over something like a Blaze Binder. Although, is it better? Probably not. Uh, but here are the changes. And they are live right now on the server. Uh, you can tell because my auto attack hits three people and if you read the skills like right here if we go to stats and class and we read the rank four passive uh, damage increased by 15% that actually got a 5% nerf so it used to be 20% you can read that right here in the notes where it says uh, originally it was 20% now 15 on that skill right there and on the live server it is the same name and it's 15%, so the changes are live right now, so we can test them. And uh, yeah, uh, this class is a lot better because the haste on the test server, it's a lot better on test server because of the haste, it's not capped on test server. They might cap it when that actually becomes a live server, uh, but for now it's not capped, so this class is kind of amazing on that server. Uh, but it's still a very decent class, where you're hitting consistent 600s and a pretty low cooldown. I mean, it's not going to be the fastest thing in the world, but yeah. So let's go over all the changes more in depth. All right, the first change is pure blood, which I'm pretty sure is the rank 10 passive, 15% uh, damage. So that's good. That's actually a buff. Uh, I don't think it needs the 25% endurance. Some people might argue that, uh, but the rank 10 passive originally gave 25% endurance, now giving 15% damage. I'd say that's an overall buff in my opinion. All right, the second change we already talked about is a 5% decrease to the damage on the rank four passive. So overall a nerf to the rank four passive. I'm not a big fan of that. I think they should have left it the same, but I'm not a class designer, so who knows? The third change is aspect of the bat no longer has the plus 100% mana cost. So your mana cost is now it's the same basically i don't know like it, they removed it but before they before they changed the class i really didn't have an issue with mana so i don't know why they would change it don't really see a point to it maybe so it's so you can use your other skills uh, more rapidly but things were dying before i could even use more than like one or two skills anyway and my mana would regen before the monsters would respawn so eh, i don't really see a big change there Mana regen model description updated. So I, I, maybe that's just the description for it. Maybe they changed how you gain mana. It's not really too detailed there, but you can see right here it says Vampire Lord gains mana from hits landed in combat and especially on crit hits. The amount depends on damage relative to their own HP total. So yeah, basically you're healing about the same. Your two skill heals here. Your two skill hits three targets now, which is good. Uh, but and the heal's about the same, a little bit reduced, but it hits three targets now, so there is a slight increase maybe to healing if you crit on all three targets. And for some reason, I'm this guy, yeah, I'm not auto-attacking back. Okay, that's, that's cool. Thanks. Devour Blood no longer has the can't hit, can't miss. So you can now miss and crit with your heal skill. Not that big of a deal. Slight change. Not really changing much. Probably the biggest change to the class is that now Devour Blood, Sonar Scream, which I'm pretty sure did before, and Ghoul Gorge now hits all three targets for these three skills, plus your slash hits three targets. So literally every skill hits three targets, and your fifth skill doesn't hit any targets, so it's just both the other three uh, skills. So not 
that I, some people will really like this other people won't find it that you know, game changing i'm one of the people that thinks that it's not really that big of a deal although on if you're making a multi-target class i prefer more targets the better i prefer like five targets but uh hitting three targets over two not really that big a deal because your three skill already tagged uh three targets before the update so just making up two more or three more skills actually hit three targets which is a good change in my opinion now this is a weird one for me now i wasn't a big fan of this before uh because it without this the class would actually be really a godly but uh slash now deal 60 percent weapon damage instead of 70 percent uh, so they nerfed that by 10% on your weapon damage on your slash skill. Uh, probably because you're now hitting 3 targets with it instead of 2. So an extra target. That's extra damage output on your end. So reducing the damage output by 10%. Uh, I can see why you would do that. That change. But I think they should have left it the same. It, just at 70%. It's already nerfed by 30% your normal weapon damage that you're used to with other classes. So uh, nerfing it by 40%. I don't think that was necessary, honestly. Another nerf to the class that I really don't understand. Ghoul Gorge damage reduced by 20% from 140 to 120. So, yeah, that's Ghoul Gorge. That's a skill, hits three targets now, and got a 20% reduce because it hits three targets instead of two now. So, yeah, that's... Again, your overall damage output is increased because you get an extra target. But a 20% overall reduction on that skill makes it so it is not as good as it was before, of course. So, not a big fan of that change either. I think that should have been 5 or 10%, not 20 But, again, I'm not a classes then. I don't know the reason exactly behind that. But it seems a little too harsh. 20% reduction. Now, this is a really good change. Uh, sonar Scream description update to say can't miss. Now, I don't know if it couldn't miss before. But putting in the description is a good idea and the fact that this skill can't miss is very good because it busts your damage by 30 percent so that's really decent and i'm glad it can't miss now so you're always getting 30 percent when you hit that skill on any target you hit so that's very good now this one i think people will take issue with this i don't because uh they did change uh devour blood so it can uh so it can crit and can miss now so that is good so it can crit so this change really isn't that big of a deal in my opinion some people might blow it out of proportion but devour blood damage and healing reduced to 35 percent from 50 so that sounds pretty big right but i really don't think it is the healing on this class has never been an issue and i it remains not to be an issue i mean these guys aren't doing any damage but uh, even if you are getting damage dealt to you you're probably gonna have a healer in your room and if you don't uh, this class will still keep itself alive, even when you're fighting strong, uh, three strong targets. Like, you're not, that healing's not an issue for this class. And that is all the changes for this class. Uh, in my opinion, it seems like, I don't know, I, they nerfed a lot of skills. They did slight buffs to some of the skills and made it so you hit three targets. And that's basically the too long didn't read version of this uh, change now I think it will make the class better it will make it so people like the class more that's definitely a thing because it should have hit three targets out of the gate I I would like to see a change where they revert it back to where it's doing more damage on the skills but just add three targets that would be the perfect ideal situation for this class is you revert it back and maybe keep the healing change revert it back keep the healing change and that that would be a good class that would be actually be a very good class maybe a little overpowered uh but what isn't in a world where void high lord exists uh who cares uh, game balance what's that that it, welcome to adventure quest worlds uh, there's weapons that do 50 percent more damage um yeah that's about all i have to say about that tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below i'm actually genuinely interested in what you guys think of these changes and what you would do to change the class if you were a class designer what what numbers would you tweak there? What would you add or remove from the class? Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. Live stream in a few hours.